Hello, my old friend. It's kind of random, right? What's up, Harry? You know, I've had way too much coffee tonight. My wife and child are asleep. I have no friends outside of all of you. So I thought, you know what, let's go live for a minute. And I've really been uninspired by my comic book room. Which sounds a bit weird. <laughs> way too much coffee, Perry. This may or not be, may or may not have been the third or fourth one. But I'm feeling pretty uninspired by the room. It's, you know, I put all this effort into it. I'm not sure if it's a place where I want to. It's not somewhere where I'm like, man, I really am excited to constantly come in and hang out. And it's not even so much necessarily behind me. It's more so I put a post up on Instagram the other day and I'm like, guys, I, I just, it's so uninspiring sometimes. And, and in your space, you want it to be somewhere where you love and you want to spend some time. And I work in this space, but I put up this post, where is it at? Right here. And this is kind of like my view. And I'm like, I'm just not, what's up? What's going on? White tiger. Cool, calm and collected. But anyway, so this is kind of my view. And I'm not super inspired by it to come in and sit down. And, you know, I really wanted to put up some great comics. And, you know, then I thought about putting up some shelving. And I thought about doing some other things. And I'm like, it's still not what I want it to be, right? And then, like, behind me, you know, I have all my omnibus. And, you know, all of my beautiful artwork uh, from Corey Johnson and and um, Brian Silverbacks and and Deegan and Austin LeMay and stuff like that. But I'm like, you know, is it really what I want? So I thought, you know, there's some pretty cool room tour videos out there for comic book land. Let's get on here and let's check it out a little bit. Let's see what's happening. Yeah, and it, 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 it kind of, I don't know. I just, I put a lot of effort into it, but I still just don't feel like this is it. You know what I mean? It just doesn't feel like this is what I'm looking for. And I really liked my last setup, even though it wasn't great, but I don't know. You know, I feel like my figures and stuff are kind of thrown at the top up there. And honestly, the, the big issue with it is the fact that I have two doors right here, one into a bathroom and then one to the exit makes no real sense, honestly. But I feel like that kind of thrown off the, the flow. But I have so many omnibus. I have new novels and stuff coming in and stuff like this I want to be able to put out and display. But the big thing is like, what do I do with this space? It's just so un like I, I don't like it. Plus all these box sets because I'm an addict. You know, stuff like this. Still no clue what to do with these, how to display them, where to put them. So let's check it out. Let's let's do some comic book room tours and uh and and let's see, you know, do some reactions and just talk and hang out. Nothing fancy, nothing, you know, and if you have any topics you want to talk about, let's, let's talk about them. So comic book room tours, see what comes up and we'll just look, look at that. The two brothers comics, comic book room tour. I, I do think that was a good video. Um, I will tell you, so not to tutor. Luckily on one of my, not to tutor on horns here. But uh, if you've not seen this, obviously you certainly should. Uh, this was shot and edited by me. Well done, I must say. Um, but I will tell you, some of my favorite parts in Dustin's is this spinner rack right here. Here, I love that. But he just has so much more space than I do. Um, and like his slab wall is pretty cool. I actually built one of those at my local comic shop for them. And in this whole display right here, by the way, um, this entire TV stand, this wooden one, I was actually hand built by me that I've, I had for years. Um, and I gave it to Dustin when we moved. Um, but that whole display that he was, you don't really get a good shot of it in the comic. Or I'm sorry, in the video. But this this whole display over here, that was all hand built by me. Um, that thing is heavy. Is but I do like the fact that he has themes and stuff. But my favorite part is, I don't know, it's just very collective, collected, right? So, anywho, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, Dustin really wanted to go the MTV Cribs route, for sure. So let's check out this one by Metarog. So Metarog, this is Roger. Um, I've not seen this one. I don't have a whole lot of time for YouTube. But I would tell you, like, from a pure comic book standpoint, 
I mean, this is like hog heaven, right? Just comic books everywhere. Every aspect of the wall. What's um, going on, everybody? Nope. Dang. He didn't have hair then. <laughs> um, but I don't know, man. Like, I love his... I, I, I'm liking the... Oh, hit play. I like the way this looks. Um, but for me, I really wanted to go more clean and very specific and very... 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 I mean, if you look at mine, right? Kind of the way I have it set up. It's like very specific on where I have the books and my artwork and stuff like that. I felt like... Ah, you know. Um, but... I really like the way Metarog has it. Roger has his too, right? So let's let's show that. Let's show that again. Because it does. It feels like I bet you when you walk into this room, you're like, oh man. This man has a massive love for comic books and art. And maybe that's the vibe I'm missing. Maybe it's whenever I walk into my room, I'm like, I don't really, you know, you know, like is this a guy that really likes comic books or is he a manga fan or does he like star Wars or is it, you know, his artwork? What is this guy even about? Um, so yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, sticky goose comics. So I love omnibuses. I only buy what I've read and love or, or so you're not going to get me to truly just go out and buy a bunch of stuff that I'm not going to enjoy reading or I hated, but I do love how beautiful these things look. So that's pretty cool. I, I actually do love the library to type tour videos. Uh, Comic Book Corner 2.0. He cracks me up. When I first started collecting comic books, I watched a lot of his stuff. And see, here's another thing, guys. I don't know how you guys handle all of your short boxes and long boxes. I got rid of a ton of mine. So... What are you doing? You're like that tall. Anywho. Why is it not working? I don't know. I don't know. What are you doing? Hey, you gone. Yeah. So, but I don't know what to do with my short boxes. I got rid of a bunch of them. I gave a bunch of them to Josh, uh, my local comic shop. I was like, here, man, you know, maybe you can put them in your dollar bins or stuff like that. It's just some back issues that I read. And I'm like, eh, I'm not going to really do much with. Um, but I still have like six or seven. Um, but I'm not sure what to do with them, how to put them, how to organize them. And I wonder what other people do. At one point, I almost bought a filing cabinet, but I didn't think that was very clean, uh, if that makes sense. Like, if I had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of back issues, that's probably the best way. Um, but I'm also not a huge fan of just stacking them up. Oh, and he his his is in his garage, so that's cool. For a while, so I what was do you are you have you decided you don't like your room anymore? Um, no, not so much. J just like trying to figure out what what I can do to make it a little bit more maybe cohesive. It's just somewhere where like like I was saying kind of at the beginning of you know making it somewhere where I want to be versus like oh okay it's it's you know. It's just here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what's up, Baramey? Yeah. I just, you know, there's no reason to really hold on to them. I'm not really like specking on anything. Any of my good classic Silver Age, Bronze Age or special covers or anything special to me I've kept. But yeah, I've been purging quite a bit. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I've, I been, I've been trying to do the same thing. Um, you know, I've gotten, I've pretty much gotten to where. I've adapted this mindset that if I can't put the book up where I can see it and enjoy having it on display, yeah, then I, I don't, I don't, I don't end up buying it. Like I, I got tired of the fact that I was putting all this money into these books and then I just leave them in boxes. I don't ever really look at them or see yeah. them. And I was just like, nah, I want to, I want to, I want to put my stuff on display so I can, yeah, you know, if I'm sitting in here working or whatever, like you know, I can see, like, man, this is cool that I got all this, you know. Yeah. Well, and like, Which is why I went to a lot of my collection being graded, just because it's easier to yeah. display it. 
So, and even for me, I have all of these graded comic books sitting back here and none of them are on display. And I don't yeah. necessarily want to do a graded comic wall like I've done before. Um, I, I, I like what, you know, you built and what I built for Haven, but I don't think it necessarily looks as clean as I want it to be. And then yeah. I'm like, well, maybe I want to put some, some, some shelving up, um, very like custom wood shelving. Mm -hmm. But then I'm like, is it, I don't know. Right. And then I so thought about the, the coolest comic book room as far as like displaying comics and stuff that I've ever seen. And it's in our watch later. I think it's the like the video. Is it the the Lee Ditto? Yes. Yeah, I've Lee seen Ditto that a bunch of Kirby room. Like Jesus Christ, dude. Like it, it, that is that is like I don't think that there's a way to to, to make a better looking room. Yeah. So that shit is crazy. It's got like a it's got like that cigar man cave yeah. feel to it, but with like comic books and statues. Yeah, for sure. Who's is this? Uh, this so this is Bubs. He mentioned his, um, mm. and I literally just typed in comic book room tour, and I was just going to go through them. Um, but like I said, for me, you know, we were down there and we saw uh, Richie's room, and I'm like, man, yeah. this is like very cohesive. You know what and I'm saying? Like, like that's well, what I was but, telling you, right? Because I told you, I said uh, after I, after I saw, you know, when before I had been to Richie's. Uh, I had Jeff come up here and I had sent him pictures of my room and yep. I was like making out like I was big shit and I got this cool ass room and then I go to Richie's and I'm like, my room sucks, mm -hmm. bro. <laughs> and so that's really kind of where I'm like, okay, am I a manga guy? Am I just the artwork? You know, I don't even you're have any comic way, books guy. really you on display. What, saying, dude? what? You're, you're collect your way, dude. Yeah, but I want to, I'm trying to figure out like how do I make it cohesive, right? But I want it to be yeah. very minimalistic cohesive kind of style right and like i yeah. look at metarogs and i'm like this is awesome this is somewhere where i would love to be mm -hmm. um but it's it's kind of what um like bubs like i i love his because his literally it's just like everywhere and yeah um just you know kind of like what he's showing i love actually i i've seen yours before um and so this looks good right but i don't have mm -hmm. that much back issues i just don't. right um and um for me, it's been really omnibuses and stuff, but I've had a massive mm -hmm. back issue collection like this. I, I was literally, I had two filing cabinets ready to pick up before we moved. And I also love the arcade right there, the um, 8 bit do, mm -hmm. 8 bit do arcade. I, I have one of those. Yeah, um, yeah that, that's kind of why we did mine the way we did. You know, my wife was very adamant about not making it cluttered, keeping it yeah. like clean and spaced out, you know, enough to yeah. where it didn't like all blend in together. Yeah. So it's like, I got my turtles corner over yeah. there. It looks really good and got my comic wall and I got the space where I record and do yeah. live streams. And, but, but like, uh, but like when, it's I'm, easier when you have a bigger room, I feel like, yeah. But like, you know, I'm sitting here looking at bubs and I'm like, there's no mistaking. This guy loves comic books. Yeah. And you know, I, I love, you know, the, the feel to it. And I feel like when you would walk in, it's like, man, this feels exactly the way i would want it you know mind to feel but you know i don't yeah so but it's it's a good looking place so let's keep looking come a quick room tours and i was trying to see recent ones and it's like you know and I, and I clicked on ours and kind of talked about it for a minute but you know i'm like you know do i want to just rip everything up behind me and just do custom built-ins myself you know um because get some of those uh yeah i mean that would be cool the custom built-ins well, and I would, you know, I could just build it myself, right? But the cost yeah. of the plywood right now, plywood's so expensive. I mean, I'm going to do, I'm going to put Sky Library downstairs in our dining room and turn that into an actual library and take out that dining room. Um, oh, okay. So that's going to turn into a library. I'm just waiting on the cost of plywood to go down some. And then I'm going to do Are some you guys going to have uh, the ladder? She wants to do a ladder since they're nine foot ceilings. Gotcha. So, oh, uh, why is there a space on the slab wall? Hmm. Did you sell something? No. Oh. It's almost as almost as if as if there's space been made for a, a new book on the on the top shelf where all the big monster books go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here's the nasties from one oh. year ago. This is the nastiest room you'll ever see right here, dude. Oh. Yeah. Check out that light, guys. You want to talk about having lighting? This bastard right here. <clears throat> poster? 
Yeah, see, like, like I think Burke has kind of like a really small room, kind of like you. Well, I mean, but this room is not job. small by any means. The issue for me is the two doors. They're all small to me, I mean, because my room's so big, so I feel like all of the other ones are small, but I get what you're saying for sure, dude. Yeah, like, this is, this is not a, a tiny room, so to speak. But, like, you know, this entire wall to my right shot because of all of the, uh, um, what do you call it? Good Lord, bubs. This is what happens to all, this is where all the back issues that I need to get rid of are. <laughs> oh, Empire. I didn't check his out. Let's check his out. Empire's fantastic. Y'all go check out Empire. So yeah. see, and he has that feel of how my last room does immediately. Where Did it was you say more... Sticky Goose was in the chat earlier? Uh, no, it was the... Um, his room, room tour? tour? Yeah. Okay. I like him too. He, he does some good stuff. So... Oh, look, Empire's got him oppressed. So this feels very much like my previous setup where it was more based around content versus a room where I wanted to, like, here I'm trying to build out a room where I want to be here to work and I'm motivated right. to come up here. And, like, my closet is just an absolute atrocity. And I think getting rid of that stuff to you, and I'm going to be able to maybe put in some additional bookcases or something down here next yeah, to the couch. couch. Yeah. Um, you could even build your closet out to be a part of the room too, dude. Like, well, and for me, it's like that just needs to be deep storage for camera equipment and oh, all well, of that yeah. kind of stuff. And, you know, I could put my short boxes in there, but really I want to find a way to, I'll tell you my ultimate goal. Okay. So I'm going to yeah. go through guys for people in the chat. I'm going to go through um, some comic book room tours, and then I'm going to bring you into uh, the single person that I am jealous of when it does not come to like a Spider-Man collection or a Star Wars collection. It's completely outside of both of those realms. But if there's one person on YouTube with a room tour that I could snap my finger and have it set up with everything in that collection, I absolutely would. But it would cost me damn near as much as an AF-15. You know who's about to have the, the sickest damn room on the planet? Jeff? No. Jim. Bro, Jim, Jim Mint shit is going oh, to be that Jim. I'm thinking J.I.M. Yeah, dude. I don't like using this word, but his shit is going to be fire. Yeah, like legit. That is going to be some some yeah. kick ass stuff he's going to be doing down there. I'm, I'm pumped to see it. Yeah. So here's the other thing, too. So what I'm noticing here with Empire, what I really like about his setup that right there, that looks good with all the LEDs. But yeah. I'm not certain if I'm a bit if. I personally want LEDs in my setup. I had it in my last right. one. I thought it was okay for video, but as far as like somewhere where I want to come, sit, relax, you know, yeah. work, because I work from, you know, my, my role, I work from home. I spend like every single hour of my life, you know, outside of family time, basically in this room. Um, but so I haven't decided, like it would probably look good on video. Um, and I think it looks really sweet in his setup. And like whenever Jim does his, um, you know, behind the kind of like what he ha Empire has here, I think it looks good, but I don't know if it's me, right? I really like the clean. Look at that. I mean, just the thumbnail, man. Mm -hmm. That's sick. Uh, I'll tell you who's got a badass room. Um, Beta Ray Jim. Yeah, I love his back. So this guy, Bloop Comics. You need to look at Beta Ray Jim's room tour, dude. You'll love his room tour. So I like the I like whenever people go in the garage. I had a small garage set up for a while, but it was so dang hot. I like it. I, so I like what he did with the comics. Logan did something. My brother-in-law did something similar to that. And I'm almost tempted sometimes to throw up a TV up here, you know. And but, oh, good lord, he's gonna give me a a. Uh, Look at that, dude. That okay, that's pretty cool. Top to bottom comic books. Yeah. That's pretty yeah. sick. And you know what else maybe? I may need to do some painting in here. You know I'm telling you, go check out go to Beta Ray Gym. Well, hold on. I feel I feel like his room would match up with more of your yeah. style with doing like omnibus and comic books. It's yeah. very clean. It's not and it's not some big monstrous room either. Yeah. Um but, I mean, I, I envy his setup a lot. So, I like this. I like, so this is the Extreme channel. This is... Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought he was a much bigger channel. Who is it? 
the extreme channel. Maybe he has the extreme statue or something. I don't think I've ever seen the extreme channel. So, hold on before I. Yeah, I thought he had a much. I don't know. He does a lot of similar stuff to Jim. Everything statue. Um, but again, I, I'm not so sure, certain I'm a fan of this type of comic grading or hanging that either. Um, that's what I think killing me is I'm not, I, I've done it all. I've seen it all and I've not found a graded comic display that I like. You yeah. Know? Yeah. That, that was my thing. Cause I mean, like, I don't really like, I don't really care for the, uh, yeah. Yeah. So let's check out this guy. Bad Wolf. Welcome true believers. All right, so I'll, and what I'll tell you is this right here, and I'm not like I don't mean this in a bad way at all. Uh, you know, Jim, everybody has used a very similar setup to this. I also love mm -hmm. those price books. Shout out to those folks. That's the best place to buy omnibus. Um, yeah, or generally graphic novels as a whole, they do such a phenomenal job of shipping, uh, and incredibly sweet people from every experience I've ever dealt with. Um, oh look, is he saying it's sponsored by Organic Price Books? I don't know, but that's cool. I'll tell you who else does a great job with freaking shipping is Short Boxed. Uh, mm, yeah, know, but, uh, this is... that's cool. I had a package today come directly from them, and uh, man, Eventually, I could have uh, moved around. dropped that thing off of a bridge, and it yeah. probably would have been fine. So I guess for me, the issue with not the issue, but like why I wouldn't go this route with with kind of the the ikea style display uh with the leds is because that's done so often um yeah and uh i'm not so certain that jim necessarily coined it or was the first person to do it but i feel like he definitely made it one of the most popular and i think it looked really good for him um but for me you know i want getting away know, from that now too he's doing custom built-in well his, his is gonna be and yeah. his omnibus yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's kind of like to do built ins, it's not difficult. It's just a matter of the plywood not being ninety dollars for a sheet of three yeah. quarter inch wood. So I mean, literally, you know, you're I don't know how tall the ceilings are down there. I'd imagine probably eight foot, nine foot for a basement, but say they're eight foot. I mean, you're talking it's gonna be oh yeah, you know, just material alone. Um, and I've you know, do a lot of woodworking or have historically, but it's literally gonna be, you know, each case you know, is probably somewhere in the ballpark of a hundred, one hundred twenty-five dollars, depending on the material and the quality of plywood they're bringing in. Whether it's, mm -hmm. um, and that's not even counting like you paint, know paint and filler. Yeah, uh, he's uh, putting labor. he's putting um, yeah. uh, some kind of like molding around them and everything. Yeah, like, yeah. So like the crown moldings, extremely you know, yeah, crown molding. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, so like. I don't mind putting that kind of money into it whenever we're not about to go into the recession, but I mean, it's hard for me to say I'm going to do about that. To go. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's hard for me to say I'm going to go. We've that been route. recessing over here at my house for a long minute. <laughs> I know. What's up glitter. Um, uh, spoiler alert. I haven't lost yeah. all this weight on purpose. I just can't afford to eat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bob, yeah. So, and for me, um, it wasn't, they are not valuable, but I do truly like for me, I love the way these look like I've become such a massive fan over my art, my posters and they are oh, in my yeah, print, yeah. and they really do make me happy. It's just, yeah. you know, I, want, me, that's, I, I love, love this. Huh? I love the art and the prints yeah. and stuff. Like I'm, 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 my goal is to what up, Justin? cover the walls in my pressing room yeah. with, with 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 that type of stuff you know like those three art prints i have i want to put those on every wall or get some more corey yeah. stuff i mean something but like that whole room i just want to be like just yeah. artwork yeah um and and the way you have yours framed up like that was definitely inspirational yeah. to me because i was just like well shit that looks way better than mine like i need to get on this frame <laughs> and it does and that's what i wanted i wanted to feel like an art gallery right there and i love like if there's one spot in the room I don't want to touch, it's that. I think it looks mm -hmm. cool. It's everything I love from Invincible to Spider-Man um, and some Star Wars pieces. And it's done by local artists that I can support or friends. And then I have my special pieces 
um, what I would call more of my personal pieces here from like Austin LeMay and Silverbacks and Jeremy Bernal mm-hmm. that are I like to have here because I'm never looking that way, right? Right. So for me, it's it's there. I can constantly look over and I see the Canto and the Killing the Turtles mm-hmm. and stuff like that. My Spider Man print, and I love that stuff. And then over here, I have the the Spider Man one you gave me in the first con we attended. So all of that, like. Oh, did you get that one framed up finally? Yep, yep, it's up there. So, cool. but so I do, you know. But then, what kind of frame did you use for it? Just the very same one as the, I already have. With it the, matches with the, uh, Oh, okay. Yeah. Send me a link for that because I need to get. I need. I, I was good. So I got the ones that I got, and they've got the matting in them, but the matting yeah. is white, and I want like a black mat. So you can honestly just have custom matting done and that would probably be Yeah, they're like Rangers, 25 right? bucks a piece. I took I took I took the frame and the art into Michael's last week and it was like 20 25 bucks a piece. Yeah, dang. So Yeah, I think I I these weren't that expensive, but I'll see if I can find one. Um Rafaust, we'll go check yours out when you when you other ones. I haven't done one yet, but one because I have a big hole up in my ceiling from where I put that. Uh, it's not really a hole. I haven't finished sanding and painting, but where I, I ran some coax or not coax, sorry, uh, cat six up for internet and to here so we can have reliable live streams for you guys. I put holes all over my brand new house for you guys <laughs> uh, and didn't get charged $700 just to run three cables. Right. All right. So he's got the Reggie. Well, this is what I call the Reggie collects look. Okay. Yeah. Um, and again, I don't know if he <clears throat> first person to do something like this with these hangers, but I'm calling it the Reggie collects. I do like the way he has this organized here. Um, again, I just don't have that kind of, uh, inventory. Yeah. Um, I would love to yeah, be able to do that. And like I said, like, I don't, you know, I mean, I used to, you and I both used to be all about having it, like for a while it, it was about how much we had, you know, like yeah. it was a competition who had the most books. Yeah. We were keeping up with how many we had. And I just, like I said, I just kind of, I don't know if switch turned on and I was yeah. just like, man, I've got all these, like I've either read them and don't plan on reading them again, or, you know, I don't even know why I have it. And yeah. I'm just like, it's just sitting in there, like wasting away. I felt like, and yeah, I was just like, if it's not something I'm going to be able to sit and look at and enjoy, and, and if it's not worth me putting the effort in to putting it out to display, yeah. then do I really need it? So, yeah. And I know well, that that's not, that's, a, that's not how the m- majority of people feel, and that's awesome, but that's, yeah. just, that's just how I had gotten about it, you know? So, and then another thing, I, I can't believe this video only has 10,000 views. That's wild. It's crazy. His other one, though, he has... has like hundreds they don't really of thousands, put right? Content out like that either. That's what's crazy. Yeah. Like they, like, dude, like, I'd be in that damn room recording every day. <laughs> yeah. So, so, and another thing for me, guys, right, Perry? Wait till we get to the gamers. It's gonna be the Perry Gaming uh, look. Um, yeah, and you know, posters and prints. And I, honestly, this is where like I, I'm struggling, right? Because the more I'm sitting here talking to you guys and thinking about it, it's like I love my posters and prints. I love my omnibuses. I genuinely love my manga. And I'm going to get to this library look that if I had the space, no, no, let me rephrase. If I were allowed to use the space, uh, I would want to, I would have the greatest library. Um, but we'll get to that because I'm going to show that one last. Um, but then I have I this massive this card collection too of Dragon Ball yeah. cards and some of these uh, Marvel cards. I have no idea how to even go about displaying those that look good. And then get I have frame, all, dude. If you have like, if you have enough that you could get them framed as a set, I, I've looked at that. that and I don't awesome. like the way it looks unless it was a very cohesive. Um, what do you call it? Like get set, custom, like a get, master get a custom, I was gonna say, get a custom matting cut. Yeah. To where you would but, have a space for yeah. each one, and that I, that would look clean as hell, man. Yeah, but that's not really like for me. Like I, Jim did that with his Marvel masterpieces, and that looked good for something like that. But that's not really. You know, I don't want it to look like a print of those cards or, you know what I mean, like a frame. I want it to be like a display where you can still grab them and touch them and feel them and look mm-hmm. at them. And, you know, if I want to pull one down and show some, not that I have the prints to do that. But what if you, you did, know? what if you, so what if you did like a, um, like, you know how, how there's, there's top loaders, right? Yeah. Every, every For one cards. of my good cards are in top loaders. So, so what if you did like, 
and, and, and I don't know how you could make it work. Um, it would obviously get kind of heavy. But what if you did like some kind of like metal sheet you could mount to the wall and put small magnets on the back of the top loaders and you could just um, attach them to the wall? Like, I mean, then you could still pull them out. I mean, well, and that's where or whatever. I, that's where I'm kind of like at same thing with the graded comics, too, of like just flat comic books or flat cards up against the wall and kind of that square space like the Reggie collects look kind of thing we we're talking about. I'm just not, you know, and I've done that several times, even with the top loaders of yeah. um, raw comic yeah, books. I'm not so certain yeah, I'm a fan it's of that hard to, It's hard to think of like something out of the box that, you know, to do science. To, well, to and do the it. issue is like, if I strictly had nothing but comic books, great. That just was what would be everywhere. But I have the comic books, the manga, the cards, yeah. the posters, the figures. I have a few small, um, We'll call them statues and helmet, mm -hmm. and you know it's like how do I create this very um, coherent yeah. type environment? He gone. I don't know where he went. He just rolled out. Nick is gone. You are. Nick is dead. Beep boop. Beep boop. Beep. No, boop. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry, I hit back on the wrong thing. I was sharing my screen. Oh, okay. So I do apologize to everyone for that. That was an accident. Um, but see, I that's what I was telling you. Justin, you know, how he's got all, he's got those, those um, glass cases behind him with all those toys in them. And I'm like, yeah. dude, you've got comic books, like graded books that you could pair with those that would look really, really yeah. good. Like, you know, get a, a nice, like, you know, acrylic see through stand and, and put your books on them and, and, yeah display them with the figures and you know i thought that would be like a super cool way to do it kind of like the way that they did in the cases on that uh kirby lee ditko thing yeah yeah and and that's like justin you know if it wasn't for uh his kid stuff around he literally has a beautiful room right oh yeah uh everything about it what what's up ryan and and uh, and, and apparently it's even bigger and more stuff that you can't see out of frame. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Which I'm maybe when we go to his house uh, at the beginning of the year, we can we can uh, help him get his uh, crap together around there. <laughs> <laughs> like, how uh, funny would it be? Like, if we end up sleeping in the basement, like we just stay up all night one night yeah. and rearrange his whole basement. I wonder if he would be happy or if he would shit himself if he woke up and saw everything was changed and reorganized and. <laughs> honestly no clue i will tell you so sorry to interrupt that that kind of thought but uh vincent's right here that's what i was um, gonna say yeah that looks like vince's that's i not like vince, what he did here i okay, think that's yeah, yeah. really neat yep it's definitely different and uh out of the box i've always thought that that was pretty cool the way he did that and i always thought it looked really good on camera when he did that mm -hmm. um let's see and i'm not i'm purposely not pulling up jim mint's rooms uh, and the reason being is because literally everybody on earth has seen those, rightfully yeah. so. Um, yeah, I'm we, trying we, to, and I've seen he's got, We know yeah. he's got top notch shit already. So, <laughs> is Beta um, Ray Jim's not showing up on there? I'm dying for you to see oh, his. Hey, I, I there we go. Hey, there's, um, oh, okay. So I did, I did, maybe I did show off Ray Foss a little bit earlier. So I do like this. I, and that's something else where I've, I've thought about using these aren't d uh, detolfs or whatever they're called. But like this, this glass shelving with the lighting, I do love the way that looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that's cool. So I, I definitely like that. But I'm not sure how I could, you know, maybe I do one all cards and maybe some comic displays. Um, and then that's where I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna do. My man notes. is a hardcore in the box collector. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it does look really good. Yeah. Um, and very, very cohesive, right? But I, I do like, um, let me find the shot of it. This right here. I like the way that looks. Yeah. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. then, I, then I thought about, okay, screw it. I'll just tear everything down, put in built-ins with glass front showing or, or glass front doors and put some, you know, uh, white lights in there, if you will. Yeah. And I can have, you know, my, my manga on one area, omnibus straight down my figures, um, you know, some of those other things, um, maybe my, uh, but if I did just like a pure wall of shelving and stuff, you know, maybe that might look, might look solid, but I do like this look and I like the guitar in the middle. That's pretty sweet. Um, Oh, check it out. Tales of Suspense 59, 58 oh. 
and 63. Let's see. I just sold my 59. It broke my heart. I still have my, and I sold my 63. Yeah. I still have my 58. I have my Strange Tales 114, but had to make yeah. some sacrifices. So, and I like how he's themed it out with Spider Man, Daredevil, Hulk, whatever it may be. Um, I don't have mm -hmm. enough individual things to do something like that, but I, I, if I did, I definitely like that concept. You know, all Iron Man. Uh, you definitely I might have, have you know, enough I, to do all Spider Man. <laughs> well, I was about to say, I, I, I do have quite a bit of Spider Man if it ever comes back from grading. Um, <laughs> but right. yeah, so I really. It's crazy, dude. I, I sent some books economy, which is uh, economy and standard is where yours probably ended up. And, and mm -hmm. we've sent economy and standard fast track stuff in the past month or two. And like my economy books took like nine days from the time they opened the box till I got them back. And then um, I think uh, Richie sent some standards in that took maybe, maybe like 15 total days. So like three weeks yeah. and he had them back. So yeah, it's, it's crazy dude that, that your stuff's still sitting in there, but I've still got economy stuff that's been sitting in there since last October. So mm. and I I've saw somebody today say that. Do I? So I've watched comic foos before. His reminds me a lot of bubs and some of those others. Um, mm -hmm. where it's like this organized chaos is maybe the best way to describe it, but his is not, his is like incredibly organized and clean. I mean, look at that just from the thumbnail. Yeah. But again, I, mine would look, all, I can't take a whole lot from that because he, you know, his, his back issue collection is, mm -hmm. I mean, more than I would ever, ever need. Um, it's my man. He's got a really cool the, setup. Uh, the mic there. Dude, Lawrence is killing the game on everything right now. He's got a really nice setup. Yeah. Um, actually, have you ever looked at his setup, like his background, the way he displays his books? Oh, hold on. Check this out. So I'm I'm really liking this. Come on, Rob, record in uh, horizontal so we see more of it. So see, look, his, his he he already immediately has a very similar feel to to what I kind of was going for, right? The coffee table, the couch, somewhere to sit and read very relaxed kind of feel to it displays with the library pieces. Um, are these Marvel epics down there? Maybe those are epics or something similar. Um, I need a lamp. That's what I'm missing is a lamp, um, a lava lamp. That's it. I'm getting a lava lamp. That would make it way easier. Rob Worst does have a good one. Are you used to there? Mm -hmm. Oh, you just look frozen. Okay. Oh, sorry. I was, I was, zoned out yeah rob worst his his stuff's cool too man and but his again is so his simple. is a massive back issue yeah but and his is so much simpler of a setup than it yeah. really looks like um which i think is just in, which yeah. is you know brilliant i mean because uh just the way that he has his setup um you know it's he's got the boxes with a book displayed on the end and you can't really tell if that's exactly what it is but he did he went there was it was one time he was on a show. I think it was one of the, I just did a random late night show yeah. and he was on it. He was going through his collection, putting them in CLZ for like three years straight. And uh, he was kind of showing us around how he set everything up. And I was like, that's awesome, dude. And he's got his little step ladder yeah. he has to use because he's got those three story racks. Yeah. I really like how cohesive his, his setup was here. I really like that. Yeah. So Rob RVA, I like it. It's pretty cool. I think Logan, uh, my brother-in-law, as he kind of goes down or continues his collection, I think it's going to look a lot like that. Yeah. Um, go go back up to Lawrence um, and, and just on. click on the video. You you've already passed by it though. Uh, I'm gonna get back to it. Oh. Oh, so check this out, Matt Woods. So I want to say he was a recipient of one of the Reggie Collects um, comic book room decorating thing he did a year or two ago maybe he mm -hmm. wasn't but there was something like that but i do really like this guy's setup it's very like it, a lot of it has to do with kind of the way mm -hmm. the room set up but it is so unique unlike anything else right with the brick and, and the way the. Mm -hmm. but he definitely has um and i've seen this one before um but pretty unique and again it all has a very coherent comic book theme yeah um so but again, I still, I'm not a fan of the slab wall kind of thing for me specifically. I want, I want to, and I love this, right? So um, this is kind of basically Dustin, the same concept we did for our single units, but this is on a yeah. larger scale, obviously. Yeah, that's that's those guys yeah. that, that build them on uh, Instagram. Jeff's going to get uh, 
yeah. several of those built for his room as so he's getting I, it going. I want to say um, he built these himself because the the ones that Jeff's going to get. You see how the the edge right here isn't finished? Yeah, off? no, the, yeah, they're they're like finished furniture. Yeah, they're they're more of a fine furniture, we'll say. Yeah. Um, but that still looks really good. Yeah, he did all that himself. But this looks really good. Um, so if I had a big back issue, I would definitely go more that effect. This guy, DT's Geek Show, his I want to say his son or uh, is one of those kid YouTubers that has made like millions and millions of subscribers and stuff. Um. But anyway, so he took his massive wine cellar, turned it into a massive comic book room. And I don't even like watching this. I've watched this so many times. Um, and he's like, this is oh, a yeah, real yeah, house. Yeah. yeah, that used to be a, um, a wine cellar. He turned yeah. it into a really cool room. Yeah. But look at that big ass. Do you know how do you do you understand how big that Captain America statue that is, right there is? Oh, yeah, it's huge, dude. It but is. Look, it, it is been massive. This is what makes me sick. Okay, so he's flipping through these books and he's pulling out books that are ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars that aren't even on his freaking wall. Yeah, I and know. <laughs> well, a lot is, of that, some of that shit he keeps in a, in a vault, I yeah. think, away from the house. But Man, yeah, he's he's definitely got a, a million dollar plus collection easily. I've I've watched yeah. videos where he yeah. sits with his kids and he'll put out like monster yeah. monster books. And he'll have yeah. them pick, you know, which one do you think costs more? And, um, you know, just playing that game with them with different books and stuff. And it's 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 fun to see which ones they pick and why. And they talk about why they're picking each one. And um, that, that I used to enjoy when he did those videos. He hasn't done any like that in a long time, though. I personally think these are. Mm, and so here's some details and stuff. Justin, this is very similar to kind yeah. of what Justin setup is. And if I, you know, was it, that looks cool. Yeah. I love the I like way, the way look. DJ has his stuff too. Yeah. He's got a good setup. I like the way, I definitely like the way these are kind of set up, but again, that's not, you know, that's not really my collection, right? Um, more of the gym mint. Uh, yeah. Bad Wolf. Here we go. Or not Bad Wolf. We already looked at Bad Wolf. Sorry. Um, Nim wraps. Let's see. We'll check it out. Let's see. So he's more of a, it looks like he's maybe more of a toy guy posters, not necessarily a comic book. Lots of hats. Let's see. Gamers. Gamers. Yeah, the comic book room improvements. That's what I think he did. Guys, let me know who your gym rent. Yeah, it is good looking. Dang, that's wild. Yeah, I really like to have stuff on display. If you have your... What up, Empire? Hey, we were just checking out your uh, your room tour earlier, man. Was just checking it out. Um, how to display comics. That's one of our best videos I did. Uh, let's see. Hmm. There was one recently that was done that popped up where a wife was showing off his husband's. And I was really hoping that one would show back up. Um, because it was pretty impressive the way like he actually had his stuff dude behind all of his nice graded collections behind a pull down screen um that basically covered it all to where you mm -hmm. couldn't get any of them and then he had a projector hmm. it was pretty impressive man I'm trying to find some inspiration here well, you won't go to the ones that I think might give you inspiration. So, well, I've seen those. You've seen Lawrence's the way he displays his slabs. Yeah, I've watched his videos and seen them. I asked you that, and you said no. No, I didn't say no. Very Gary's is super cool, but it's only because he has the Yu Gi Oh 
uh, world champion um, trophy. Oh, yeah. What a douche, right? I knew that would aggravate you. Oh, yeah. Um, no, I, I like Ryan, I'm saying that. Ryan, Ryan, he's got one of those. Um, he's got one of those. It literally is just like uh, the, the, the wooden rack shelving that Josh keeps all his, like, Silver Age and stuff on back behind Rocket. Oh, for real? Yeah, Ryan, his wife got him one of those. That's what he puts his stuff on. I was proud he got something because that Joker didn't have no books hardly on display before. So he got that and he he put some cool books on it. So I was like, see, there you go, dude. <laughs> I just can't believe Justin just refuses to like, like, like I just, I'm, it, it boggles my mind how the dude can have all those books and he just throws the some bitches in a damn box and throws them in a closet. <laughs> hey, display your way. I reckon. I shame him about it all the time, especially in, like I'll give him I'll give little jabs and videos and nobody knows that I'm like throwing a jab at Justin except Justin. But he, he sees it. <laughs> I can't believe that one did as good. I hate my hair the way it was. That was my garage setup, by the way, guys. Which looks good on camera, not on yeah. camera. Yeesh. <laughs> For real. But, I mean, before I did the setup I have now, if you looked at my room off of camera, oof. <laughs> the wood paneling literally just ended once the frame of the camera did, and the rest of the room looked like hail. <laughs> Let's do this. You can. Yeah, I, I searched room tour videos for a good month like i mean i yeah. i swear i probably I, I i don't i don't think there's any i didn't see dude check this out that shit looks awesome now so jim had already started losing weight at this point but jesus christ the difference between this and 10 months mm -hmm. or, you know like that's yeah. mind-boggling and i love the fact he did it in socks i don't know why that cracks me up <laughs> but good you know good on him man uh prime collectibles cool let's see the sticky goose so this was a pretty neat room tour. Um, I don't care about your sewing room. I apologize. I just don't. Do what? You know, it, it's just as a sewing room tour for whatever reason. It oh. up. So I do like to look at some of these music rooms and uh, video game room tour, stuff like that. I think it's pretty neat, actually. Yeah. Let's see. Collectible. How is my phone charging? And I feel like it's draining the battery. Mm. It's like the it's like my charger is draining the battery instead of charging it. Hey guys, Let's check this out. The nerd collector. I found out I have to put a bigger breaker in for my pressing room. No. Uh -oh. It throws hey. the breaker if I try to run them all three at the same time. Well, that defeats the whole purpose, doesn't it? Yeah, but it's fine. I'm just going to swap the breaker out, put a bigger one in, and roll with it. <laughs> uh, Still waiting for the green screen. What, what do you mean green screen? Are you? Do you have something going on in the background? Oh, yeah, sorry. I thought it was turned down enough that you couldn't hear it. I kept thinking I had videos playing. Oh, uh, no, I I had the hunt. I was just kind of checking in. Oh. We'll see what they were doing. Let's see. We already watched some of the extreme channels. I'm oh, so this dude right I'm here. Right, Look. So, a... so. I love the way his camera setup was right there. Where? Right, like so just the, 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 angle? the ISO or just the warmness of the color and yeah. how it's not like super lit up. Like I like that look. And that's yeah. the that's the that's the kind of picture I want to replicate all the time, and I can't ever get it right. Yeah, that's really cool. Justin should be very jealous of that setup right there. And that that was a great looking hot toy. Yeah, the Tony that's Stark was wow. See, had I started, Did you say we're gonna get a senior Tony Stark? No. 
like to have, honestly. So we'll That's I cool. saw something today. It said it, it literally said Senior Tony Stark something for Secret Wars. I didn't click on it, but I was like, what? All right. I thought we were getting Robert Downey Jr. back in Secret Wars. It could have just been some jackass. There's no way I could have done it. Probably. Talking That's... smack, but. All right, I'm trying to see. Yes, I don't know who Melanie is, but they did ruin Namor. Oh my God. Dave, the Dave the pitch Thor. meeting for uh, Black Panther was hilarious. <laughs> that dude has a sick room. Check out Mint Hunter. Well, heck you know yeah, what you should do, dude? The video. You should pull up the carpet in your room and take all your favorite comic books and just and just uh, epoxy them into the floor. Epoxy them into the floor. <laughs> just throw my AF-15 down. That would be kind of cool looking, though. Just get a bunch of like random dollar bin books and stuff and just epoxy yeah. them into the floor. Well, there are a lot of old ladies that'll do that with... Um, That's what I'm doing if we ever move and get into a house where I've got a basement. Guarantee you that. Ooh, Rayfust. Am I pronouncing that close? Rayfust? Rayfust? We'll say RC. No, okay, I'm not going to do that. I think that's it. Let me see. Room tour, comic books, Marvel wife shows, husband's room. I think that's it. I think that's it. That sounds like it. I'm very excited because this thing was stinking sweet. Room tour. Am I... I don't know why it won't be copy and paste. Room tour... Comic books. And it had like 90 something thousand views and the title for it was God awful. But the thumbnail looked good. That's why I clicked on it. I think I need to update your, your, your thumbnail to where it shows your actual room. Yeah. Amanda, Amanda said something even yesterday. <laughs> She's still mad that we didn't do like a, like a, a view of like, the room, you know. This is it. Yeah. Rafus, you're the best. Well, but I mean, you still get a really solid. I mean, oh, yeah. There's no I doubt so about it. Yeah. And then the thumbnails, I mean, I, I could have guess I could have put the pictures in there. So this is really, really interesting. I actually, out of all the videos I've seen, I like the way he's displayed this the most. Mm -hmm. If I were to do a graded comic book dis display, but watch what happens. And he has some pretty, pretty solid. Into the wall. Say that again. The, the way that the shelves kind of recede into the wall there. Oh, that's yeah, cool. Would, yeah. So you'll see. She's yeah, pretty solid too. Good. We're not gonna. No, nah, we're we're not gonna go. But he has some pretty good books. Some of them are, um, you know, the reprints and stuff like that. You can tell like she knows kind of. Some of them she doesn't. She does a really good job in all fairness though. Um, but like I love this. If I were to do like a, a built-in to, I, I've always wanted to go this route with my floppies instead of boxes. Go magazine holders. Um. I really like the way that looks. You know what I mean? So, but I've never committed to it. And she kind of digs in and kind of talks about how he's got it organized. Um, I like the way he's kind of combined his his books with his figures. And yeah. he's basically using some Ikea shelving for the pops and stuff. So it's not mm -hmm. super expensive to get any of this stuff done. But it looks cohesive. Um, but again, yeah, I really figures, like that. That's, my figures. That's really cool. Yeah, it lo does look amazing, but my figures are not cohesive. They're freaking Dragon Ball and My yeah. Academia and Spawn and Iron Man. Like, yeah, you know, it's not really going to be like a whole bunch of and I don't care to like buy a whole lot more. I just buy the ones I love, you know. Um, but yeah, so that looks really good. I do like this display case kind of deal. And he has his LPs and stuff like that down there, which I do have some, but that's that's a convert you know that's i haven't even considered that um so the pop thing again not my thing but he does a good job with his display i think it looks very clean uh i like this you know it's kind of cool got a thanos thing got the thanos pops um i would actually like to i try to figure out if it was like if she put an in instagram who he was or anything um but i was because i would love to know who this guy is right because i think it looks really cool um, but I do, this is like, for me, the coolest part of it, um, is the way he has this displayed, but I love the way the built-in look to it. 
Yeah, I really like that a lot. Like, but like that, 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 that would be much better than like what I'm doing right now. Yeah. But my, my thoughts are, you know, is it the, like the combo of the comic books and the pops that make it look really, is it because it's like built into the I, wall? I, I think it's the built into the wall. Yeah. And I think even if you were able to throw like some kind of lighting behind yeah. them, it, it would pop. Honestly, I don't even, I don't even care for the pops in front. If I was going to put the pops in front, yeah. I would have them out of box so that they don't take away from the books yeah. so much. Yeah. I'm not a fan of those frames. What do you think? John, John, he's, he built a bunch of those a long time ago. And, um, I just, I don't like the way they look in, in a frame. It's like, it's already in a, it's already in yeah. a case. Like, so I'm kind of indifferent. It's not necessarily my favorite. I think it goes well with this guy's setup. Um, and ever, you know, each their own. Right. But, you know, honestly, I, I don't, I, I like the built-in look versus necessarily having them in the frame on the wall. And I think I'm kind of past the point of just having stuff kind of one off on the wall anyways. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's where I'm struggling with, but uh, you look at what he has on the wall and I don't think it matters what you put him in. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I mean, you know, this, you know, Avengers one, 2.5. I want that damn book so bad. I know. Well, I'm glad I, cause you know, I was going to buy that. I was going to spend like six, $7,000 with, uh, grails and they never got back to me or you know, there was something they did that i wasn't necessarily a huge fan of the way they kind of did it and then like what four months later the comic book market crashes and i'm like yes <laughs> didn't do that <laughs> but um i really am a but like he's this you can tell he's put a lot of thought in or his wife has helped him put a lot of thought in you know if she did it i want to be able to give her some credit but look back there what's back there gaming and the dc stuff and i think it's very cohesive <laughs> You know, he has yeah. several different things he likes. Like clearly, you know, the props, the pops, the comic. I love books. that DC sign back there. Yeah, um, I'd love to have some some stuff like that, like like the DC, the old bullet DC labels, yeah. or or even like get somehow get like um like three D wood yeah. displays of like the the corners of the old Marvel comics where they would have like yeah. different characters, like. But I want I would want like three D wood pieces that are like you know two three feet long i think that stuff like that would be super cool yeah and and like instead of these movie posters behind me i want like silver age pinups printed this size would be just absolutely awesome like shit like that i would love to have but i mean one i don't even know how how i could get those pinups printed that big and then yeah you know the the wood the wood art would probably be something that it'd be, you know, be able to find somebody yeah. to do it, but God only knows how much that would cost. Mm -hmm. Ryan, I, I just got this picture. I really do like that. The kind of the, the Haven comic style things. Um, and I've thought about even putting like a new comic book day wall up at one point, but again, I got rid of so much like, yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyways, this is my favorite part of this whole room tour. Watch this, Dustin. And at first yeah, I, I, I saw that coming down earlier yeah. and I was like, that's killer. Well, at first I thought this was purely just to protect from UV, and then I'm like, well, it's a projector, you know, right? Big books are sitting here on the side, but right. he actually has this as a projector screen that they built in with the projector, um, so that they can watch TV or whatever. But I thought that was like so cool, almost like James mm -hmm. Bond style. All right, so that's yeah. Um. Oh, they have a game room tour. Let's see how they do that. Look, now I'm into. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So it's like box games and stuff like that. Look at that sick. Well, I'm I'm about to roll, dude. I gotta right. go do some stuff. But uh I'll uh catch everybody tomorrow night. We've got Dan De La Torre coming back. We're gonna be talking Silver Age again tomorrow, so it's gonna be a fun time. You guys show up tomorrow night mm -hmm. and uh let's talk about the greatest era of comic books ever. The bronze age bitches. Not Just even close. Silver Age. Also, I made a kick ass thumbnail, so 